Hi, this is Julius Sanchez. I've been working with the S2 Engine HD for, I guess, three weeks now, and I learned a lot from the videos. But what I'm going to cover here today is how to get um, a 3D model, a custom 3D model, from an external um, software like Maya. I'll be using Maya. So I'm not going to show you guys how to make a Maya model or uh, place a F, uh, FBX into a model or even um, create a rig for the model. I'm assuming um, everybody knows how to do that. Um, so what I'm going to cover is how to get a animation into into the uh, a custom animation into the, the game engine. Now the process of putting a custom model and animation is almost identical. So I'll, I'll just cover the animation part but the procedure is um, almost identical. Um, the only difference is you have to make sure with the animation you don't import the the geometry. All right, so let's get started. Right here, I have a model with um, an animation. This model has already been imported into the engine. So what I'm going to do is just import the the, um, the animation without the mesh. All right, so. According to the documentation, this particular model has to be a certain hierarchy. Now, the only thing I put in there is a locator, but typically everything, the bone and the skin, has to be inside a group, which is, in this case, I called it Kelly. Inside there, you'll see the model, the, the mesh, and also the bones, and I placed a locator there. That's the locator. And the reason why I did that is so I could orient this thing a certain way. I'm not going to cover that right now, but believe me, that's one of the better way to orient a, a model that already has animation. Use a locator. So what you do for this is I'm going to go ahead and import a model, I mean an animation, a FBX animation onto this mesh, and it's going to update automatically. Um, I'm just, again, I'm just importing the information. So if you look at this thing, it has a hierarchy. It has... Um, uh, um, an axis at the bottom. It has uh, keyframes. So this is an actual animation. It's the idle animation. Um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and show you the importance of why we need to, to group these things. These are the keyframes right here. Now, uh, the reason why you have to group these things is because it has to sit right on top of the terrain. And so when you group it, the actual um, axis of the model is going to be at the bottom. So now right now I'm going to go ahead and pick a uh, animation, uh, FBX, and this one is going to be gunplay. So if you notice, the, the model actually updated. Now there's very little information. It's probably just five frames. So I'll go ahead and zoom into that section. You're going to have to do that so that way you can get a perfect, um, that's, that's the, the part that you want to import actually. So here's the animation right here. It's not that complicated, but it does make the, the game look better. So now once you have that, um, you go ahead and click on the group and see, again, there goes that axis that's going to align to the terrain. So you export it. I already exported this thing before. It's called gunplay, shotgun or something. So if, um, just remember the hierarchy. So now we're going to, after it does that, we're going to go ahead and go to to the engine just remember where you you save this thing that's kind of important another thing about um, importance is where how you navigate around the engine I like to go to the folder that I'm gonna be importing this thing to and in this case it's gonna be at um, player in there there's gonna be um, a folder called Kelly and that's where I'm gonna import it now I'm gonna go to another folder called model and in there is Kelly and then I'm gonna pick that file and that's actually going to dump. And we just want the um, the geometry. So that's why you have to um, be careful. You put geometry on true and animation. I mean, um, geometry on false and animation on true. Because all you want is the animation file. All right. So once that happens, it's going to go ahead and put it into that folder that you navigated to. Sometimes it goes really quick. And it's there problem is you can't really see that it pop it poly uh, it populated that area so now if you get to the right hand side you got to get to the attribute of 
the um, the model. In this case, it's going to be the 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 mesh. The attribute is going to be model. So you need to um, drill down to that particular part. So you'll be able to um, see the file. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make a name here under this little set. I think it's um, add animation. I'm going to call it. Um, gunplay shotgun call it anything you want so once you do that and you click on on the little icon with the plus sign which means to add that particular um, animation ID click on that and then it's gonna um, bring you up with a window so you click on that and then you drill down again to where it's saved in this case it's gonna be player and then Kelly and then that's where it is right there so you click on that and then it's there so let's test it there goes the animation this little slide bar right here controls the speed now I already um, imported six different animation now if you were going to do this with an animation in a mesh you would click on the geometry as true also and true for the animation you just save that and now you have a listing of all the different um, transitions that you're going to be using within the game so I'll just go ahead and go through all these so you could see all the different transitions that I made uh, eventually you use game machine to put this into um, a logical sequence and that's it thanks bye